I just want to get out a quick little video on how to install an aftermarket steering wheel for like a 2019 2023 Toyota Corolla hatchback. So first things first, definitely disconnect your battery to start off with. And then right away, we're just going to go right into it. So there's going to be three holes you're looking for right here. And I think the best way to do it is just grab a pin and just shove it in there. You're kind of looking to feel like a pin in a way, but you're just pushing on it, you know, fishing it in and out until you get that front airbag to kind of pop out at you not like literally but so right here i'm going back and actually connecting the battery back because i want to rotate the steering wheel upwards so i could get access to that third hole there's going to be three that you're going to have to stick the pin in to uh, get access to all the pins for the airbag to kind of loosen up so right there i'm just rotating the steering wheel i went to because it was locked you know when the power is off so went Hooked up the battery back. Now I'm disconnecting the battery because I don't want the airbag to explode for any reason. So I went back. I think that's going to be the third hole there. I get it popped out. You see your airbag will start popping out there. Make sure you do all three. Don't just yank on it until you're for sure. Popped out all three. It'll be very noticeable when they pop. So then you get them all out there. That's just going to slide right out. Next thing, you're going to have two pins here. Just as you see in the video, pop those up. Wiggle them out. They're color-coded, so you don't have to worry about mismatching them later. It's pretty obvious. Right here is going to be kind of difficult, but there's a little bitty pin you're squeezing to get that off. That's the ground um, or some sort of electrical ground for the horn. So just a little pin right there to squeeze, pull that off, and then you could use you know screwdriver there to get that last plastic cup off. Then there's going to be two connections at the top here. Um, same thing, really. Just grab a screwdriver. You could push down on the top of it and then pull. And just take those two connections out. It's kind of hard to see the GoPro is facing down a little bit. Next thing you want to do, grab the T55. Go ahead and break that loose. I recommend having someone hold the steering wheel for you or lock out the steering wheel. And then just thread it off the rest of the way with the head of the Torx. Get that off. And that's all the connections for the steering wheel. You're good to take it off now. Just be careful when you pull it. To make sure all your connections don't get caught up. Definitely helps having an extra hand, you know, to kind of watch over things and help you mainly to break that main Torx loose. Now here we're just transferring everything. So you're going to have four screws total, but starting out you're only going to have two. So you want to go ahead and undo these two screws. Very simple. Next thing you do, grab your plastic tool, and this takes a little while. I didn't care about messing up the old steering wheel because the previous owner, as you can see, already destroyed it, you know, with their fingernails or whatever. So I just got right in there with the plastic tool and just be careful with the plastic. You don't have to be that careful with the steering wheel, but the plastics for sure. Pop that off the best you can. I definitely recommend starting on the bottom with that. And then you have two more screws. Unscrew those. And now the back. The back's just literally going to pop off. Don't be afraid to, you know, kind of tug on it a bit. Just be careful, especially if the paddle shifters, they're going to flop around. They're not broken. That's just how they are. And so you'll have those. Now you have three little pins or clips, you call them, whatever you want. Uh, two screwdrivers is definitely the best way to go about this. You just push up on one side and pull out the other. And you're going to do that on all three. And keep them because you have to insert that back. Those pins, from what I understand, are actually what holds the airbag in. So like earlier when we were using the blue pin... To get, like, you know, take the airbag off originally, this is what holds that in. So you're going to need all three of these pins. Yeah, you're trying to use the technique I used. It's pretty simple, though. It's not bad. Honestly, it looks worse than it is. Yeah, I kind of hurt my thumb there a little bit. <laughs> Just be careful. Use a screwdriver. Try not to use your fingers too much. Screwdrivers are definitely helpful. Let them take the brunt force. They're a lot easier putting them in, by the way. So you just line them up and they pretty much pop right in. You don't really have to force much at all. And they have a nice little click to them once they go in. This steering wheel, by the way, I did get it off of eBay. It was like two hundred and fifty bucks. Um, really, the only reason I got it is because it looked nice, 
and also the previous owner really messed up the stock steering wheel so i wanted to change it out so now you're going to add the back plate though so as you see i popped in the bottom first that helps a lot and then you just click in everything you have two screws and now you're going to add the front plate same thing just pop it in really um you know all the way around you know just be careful with the plastics not to crack them or anything but go ahead and screw them in and you have those other two screws like i said there's only four screws once you get to this point you know put them all back now we're back at the car and we are just feathering through those connections and so right here you do want to make sure you connect those top two connections go ahead and connect those right away before connecting power back to the car so you don't get any engine lights or anything like that and then you're just going to put in your t55 just snug it up don't overly tighten it just snug it because you have a lot of adjustments you're gonna to have to do to make sure the steering wheel is straight so next you're going to drive down the road and as you can see i'm going straight but the steering wheel the steering wheel is slightly to the left and i brought the airbag just along just because i want to see to line it up as you can see it's to the left a little bit so i'm just going to pull over break out the breaker bar again with the t55 unscrew it as you see i broke it loose again unscrew the t55 adjust the steering wheel a little to the right and then you're pretty much good to go or you could do you know you could do it a couple of times like say you over adjust it you know take it off again make sure it's right go back drive it make sure it's straight make sure the steering wheel is straight when you're driving straight you know so go ahead and do that i didn't record really putting back the airbag it's just because it's so simple but basically all you're going to do is put in those clips put in the ground put in the plastic white clip just as you took it off same same order so yeah and then you just shove it back in literally that airbag just clips right in there's three big clips and that's pretty much it but as you can see it came out pretty well uh this is a super quick video but yeah just drop a like and subscribe and i'll be posting more